Hey everybody, Chris Turek from Up North Air Gunner. So hey, I just got done uh, shooting a pretty amazing product that uh, Donnie FL has come out with. It's the Emperor. It is his uh, big bore version of his well-known uh, suppression tools that he has within his uh, lineup. And man, I will tell you what, it is nasty out here, Northern Michigan. It went from zero degrees, 36 inches of snow, it's 50 degrees today and raining. What's so cool about it is this is actually quieter than raindrops. So in this video, I want you to, as a uh, sound comparison, because it's always really hard to pick up on these cameras, the true, like what I'm hearing versus what you hear through the video. But I want you to compare the difference between the sound of this rain hitting the table versus the sound suppression that this thing is actually providing because it is phenomenal. I'm shooting the 308 uh, Texan today. It makes it ridiculously long, which is fine because I typically shoot off of sticks if I'm hunting or out of a blind or off of a bench. So it, it looks freaking awesome. I mean, Donnie put some serious design work into this thing. It's just an absolutely gorgeous piece of uh, work here. But um, anyway, yes, Donnie FL Emperor, quieter than raindrops. Check it out. So after talking to Donnie, I was really uh, intrigued about his approach to this, uh, to the problem of uh, really quieting the, down these extremely loud guns. He really makes some awesome suppressors from what I've been hearing. And he reached out to me and said, hey, uh, Chris, I, I'm, I'm testing out this new uh, Emperor, which is his big bore solution to uh, the sound suppression. Obviously, these guns would really benefit from. Uh, and he came out with a 357, and this is a 357, and it all can, also can be used with the 308 uh, version of his Emperor. And what's awesome about his design is it's, it's completely modular inside, and so you can take out the guts and put in what I'm assuming is going to be a, uh, a solution for a 45 later on, and possibly even a 50. Um, and so basically what I had, all I had to do with my Air Force Texan is I uh, contacted Jeremy at... Uh, African Air Ordnance and bought one of his threaded um, uh, end caps there and basically uh, Loctite, blue Loctite onto the end so that way I can take it off later if I, if I want to switch back to something else. And so uh, today I actually want to do a before and after. Uh, we're going to do a, one, a couple shots without and a couple shots with and uh, let's see what it does. So first, sh first shot we're going to do three without and then uh, three with the suppressor. All right, here we go. Definitely loud. <laughs> wow, so yeah, uh, super loud. Uh, it's starting to rain a little bit, so I'm gonna try to hurry this along a little bit, uh, but yeah, definitely loud. Tell you what, before I even shoot this thing, I will say from a design standpoint, that thing is awesome. I mean, it just looks freaking cool hanging off the end of the barrel. It obviously makes the Air Force Texan went from really long to ridiculously long. But if I'm shooting out of a uh, off of sticks or out of a blind or off the bench, I mean, who cares? You know, it just it looks pretty awesome. So anyway, here we go. Three three shots with. Now that is quiet. That is ridiculously quiet. Okay, so uh, this camera position, we're about 10 yards away from my shooting position. You're at about uh, between 12 to one o'clock angle from the end of the barrel, so let's see what it can do. The Donnie FL Emperor Suppressor, shot number one.
Okay, so I will say the testing for the uh, Donny FL Emperor for uh, big bore air rifles is a huge success. Th this thing is this thing's pretty awesome. Um, I know Donnie's going to be coming out with the 45 version pretty soon. Actually, I think there's some other testers already out there that already have their hands on it. And man, I'll tell you what, if this is doing this well with the 308, uh, which obviously the 45 and the 357 are going, you know, they're, they're louder inherently anyway, but you could hear the difference. The 308 is still a pretty loud rifle. And I'll tell you what, first time out with this thing, loving it. So we'll see what more I can do this later. All right, well, thanks for joining me, Chris, with Up North Air Gunner, and uh, hopefully, this was a weird day. I mean, we've been getting dumped on snow. It's like 50 degrees and raining right now, so hopefully the weather will stay a little bit warmer like this. I can get out, do some shooting, so uh, anyway, stay tuned. Thanks.